Hey everyone, it's Connor here back with a quick demo. So someone reached out to us and asked how you can identify net nets on Coifin and if you can, you can do that at all. So the answer is yes. And I'm going to quickly run through how you can do that. So a net net is a company whose market cap is less than its current net current asset value or NCAV as it's commonly termed. This is a metric popularized by Benjamin Graham. And he liked to look for companies that were trading at net net valuations. Nowadays, with the market being so quote unquote efficient, net nets are harder to come by, but you can still find a bunch of them in the market. And we're going to show you how to do that on Coifin now. We'll break down how to calculate that using a custom formula in just a sec, but you can see here, here's one I prepared earlier. Here is a screening output where we have the market cap, we have the net current asset value, and then we have the net net calculation, which is market cap, takeaway, NCAV, and all the negative outputs are going to be those ones where they are trading at the net net range that we want. If I take a scroll down here, I can see there's quite a few, and I'll show you how to build that using a screener now. So the first step is create a screen. So we have just under 100,000 stocks here. You can limit your investment universe to whatever parameters you want. For the sake of this example, we're going to keep it pretty simple. You can do this search globally, or you can hone in on various continents or countries. But for the first step, we're going to just say we want US companies. So we're already filtered on United States and Canada here. I'm going to add an additional universe criteria, and I'm going to select country. And then I'm just going to filter in for the United States and get rid of Canada. Sorry, Canada. And that will reduce our universe a little bit. And the next step I'm going to do is go into the sector criteria. And I'm going to remove energy and real estate by highlighting them all and then deselecting energy and real estate. And the last step here is I'm going to create a market cap range as well. I only want companies between 50 and $500 million. You can, of course, add other filter criteria there as well but we're just going to keep it semi-broad for the purpose of this video. And I'm going to rename that net nets. So let's run this screen. And this first step is just defining the investment universe. So we only want US companies between a certain market cap range, and we want to include all the sectors apart from energy and real estate. Perhaps we're not as proficient as studying those companies, whatever it might be. Now that we have our output or our universe, the next step is to play around with this data and parse it in the way that we want to. So before we think about adding columns to make this look aesthetically pleasing or informative, I'm going to create a few custom columns here. So let's go into columns to the column picker, and we're going to go to formulas here, and we're going to create a couple. So the first one we're going to create here is net current asset value. Now you don't actually have to create a formula for this. You can actually just include it in the, the next one I'm going to show you. But I want to demonstrate it for you just so you can see how the calculation is broken down. So the first one we're going to pick here for the data items that go into this formula is going to be total current assets from the last quarter. We're going to pick total current liabilities as well. We're going to select total preferred equity from the last quarter. And the last one is minority interest from the balance sheet for the last quarter. I want to take a pause here and say that if you want to break down current assets a bit more granularly, so you only include cash, you know, other assets that will be converted into cash within a year, uh, things like receivables and inventory, and you want to exclude certain current assets, you can definitely do so. You just have to pick those data series from the data picker. For the purpose of this video, we're just going to take the whole current assets line item for simplicity. So the next step would simply be expressing the formula with your data series. We're going to do A, take away B, take away C, take away D. And then we want to express that as a currency, which we already have here. We'll go ahead and create that column. And if we select that and add it to the watch list, we can see that we're now calculating net current asset value. And if we put that next to market cap, you know, we have a, a range there. But the thing we want to do is calculate market cap, take away net current asset value. So that's what we're going to do next. Just a reminder, you don't have to create net current asset value. I just wanted to show you how that was done. So let's go back into our formula. And the thing that we want to create now is basically market cap, take away net current asset value. So just for the sake of this, we will call it that net current asset value. And it's essentially the same data series here as well, but this time we're going to be including market cap. So there's a five data series. The only difference with this one is we want to start with market cap, and then we want to take away the rest of the net current asset value. So A, take away B, take away C, take away D, take away E. And then we want to express that as a currency again. We can go ahead and create that column. And now we have that in the watch list. 
And now if we sort by this market cap takeaway net current asset value, we can now see that the negative values are here. And if we scroll down, we can see all of these ones are where we want them to trade and the rest of these ones we can just exclude. So now that you've identified the net nets from your investment universe, you have a few different options. You can run similar screens so that you can pick out net nets in Europe or Asia or any other investment universe that you want to create. You can add additional columns to this screener output here as well, like I showed you at the beginning of the video. And this will allow you to have greater context as you're sifting through these net nets. You can see some description, industry, next earnings date, cash ratio, things like that. You can also save this as a watch list if you click save as watch list up here and you can pull that into the watch list tool and play around with it that way. But the important part of this video is really just to show you that you can find net nets and how quickly you can do that. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. Reach out to us at the Coifin help desk or at Coifin charts over on Twitter. I hope this has been informative and thank you.